Welcome, welcome, welcome to the three remedies for the fears that we have of succeeding. What do we do if we have a fear of actually being successful? In fact, this is something that stops women all the time from growing their businesses. Do you get afraid of failing and falling on your face? And on the other end of the spectrum, do you get afraid of massive success and visibility and responsibility? We all have this. This is normal. We fall into so many traps in the way that we think about work, in the way that we think about building a business, in the way that we think about responsibility, in the way that we think about our schedule and our time, the more open we can all be to calling ourselves out on gaps in our thinking during these weekly business breakthroughs, the more we're all going to get a chance to make progress together. And that's my absolute intention. So the first place to look in terms of fear of success is of course, the fear of having massive responsibility and getting so weighted down by that sense of responsibility, can you feel how much we hold around like, oh, more clients means more responsibility, means more people to show up for, means more people that I could possibly disappoint or let down. However, responsibility equals freedom. We have to remember that money is freedom. The more money you have, the more people you can hire to help you. Let's just start there. You know, the more money you have, the more you can lean into an incredible team. What do you need to be successful? Ask yourself that question rather than being in the conclusion. We always talk about how questions open up the energy, conclusions close down the energy. Ask yourself that question. What kind of a team would allow me to be in my zone of genius? You know, 70, 80, 90% of the time, all of us need to unplug. I unplug a week, a month like one week out of pretty much every single month, I unplug. And there's no way I could do that without my team. You know, and we get into this story of, well, I don't want to have year long clients because then I have to take care of them all year long. It's the opposite. (laughs) Year long clients create recurring revenue every single month, right? They might be on a monthly payment plan or they pay in full. And that's a good chunk of change to get you throughout the whole year. And year-long clients allow you the freedom to hire somebody to help coach your clients, to hire an assistant and customer service to take care of your clients so that you could literally be offline half the time. Responsibility equals freedom. When you're wearing too many hats, that's when you feel overwhelmed and bogged down. So let's talk about the second peripheral belief that comes with, I'm afraid of being successful. Who's afraid of body breakdown? So this is a catch 22. Let's look at this fear of body breakdown. Being on purpose creates health in your body. I love what David White, the poet says about this. He says the cure to exhaustion is not rest. The cure is wholeheartedness. So believe me, I have had those days where I'm like, I can't do this. I'm exhausted. I only got five hours of sleep last night and the night before and the night before that, because I'm in the middle of a launch and I have videos to cut and, you know, websites to edit. And I've had periods of time in my business where I've given myself over to my mission. And at the same time, at the end of the day, I wouldn't trade it in for anything. In fact, the hard work is a part of the reward because it's not like that all week long and it's not like that all month long and it's not like that all year long. But there's times when life is going to ask you to open yourself up and allow yourself to be a channel of the gift that's wanting to be given. And the more you open your channel, the healthier you get. I'm not saying you don't have to rest. You absolutely need to rest and be gentle with yourself. Take care of yourself as if you were the queen of the universe, because the more people's lives you're touching, the more responsibility you have to say yes to extreme self-care. The third belief that creates that fear of success is the fear of being alone. The fear of getting so successful that you're left alone that your loved ones won't stand by you. And again, we have a fear at both ends, right? We get afraid of failing, falling on our face. 
we get afraid of being so successful that we end up on Oprah and everybody that we love thinks we're snooty and stuck up and they stop loving us. Or we think that we have to be superwoman. We can never call a friend and ask for support ever again. Well, that's just not true. It's just all a big fat freaking lie. When you build a team that's on a mission to change the world in the way that you know the world can be changed through your healthy solutions, through your relationship solutions, through your money or career or business solutions, through the business that you build, you get a chance to create a team of people who are actually building that and are shoulder to shoulder with you, believing in that same mission. Take a moment and just imagine that you have a handful of people who are so committed to the mission that you're committed to changing lives in the way that you're committed to changing lives. And you can just be you and go out there and change the world. Like that's what it's all about. Quick review. The first reason why we are afraid to succeed is because of that fear of responsibility. So we've talked about how responsibility actually creates freedom and the opportunity is for you to be in your zone of genius. The more successful you are, the more income you have, the more you get to be in your zone of genius and be supported. We talked about the second block, which is the body breakdown. We talked about the truth, write this down, that being on purpose actually creates health in your body. When you're on purpose, when you're on fire, when you're lit up, when you're helping people, that's the best thing you can do for your immune system, period. And number three, you're never alone when you're on purpose. Find and create the tribe that you know will lift you up and hold you in the highest version of creating success in your business. Because people are not just waiting for someone like you. They're actually waiting for you. Love you all.